So for a while now, Android has had a couple of shortcuts embedded into the lock screen. You'll see these shortcuts in the bottom left and bottom right of the lock screen. When KitKat came out, the bottom left icon was for the phone and the bottom right icon was for the camera with Android, I believe it was 6.0 Marshmallow. Google changed that to the voice search application because you can still place your call from that voice search. Now, some people don't care to have voice search, a phone app, or even the camera shortcut on the lock screen. And thankfully, there is an exposed module, actually a couple of them, that we can use to change those, remove those, or even add more. So the main exposed module I want to show you today is a exposed module called Shortcut Lock Screen Mod. Now I found that just by searching lock screen and scrolling down but you can search for the whole name. This specific exposed module as indicated by the bracket MM is for Marshmallow. If you're watching this in the future and you're running Android 7.0 Nougat, then this module might not work for you. It might still work, but it also might not. So we're going to download and install this module. Now to install this, we're going to have to have the locks, the bootloader unlocked. We're going to need to have twerp installed. We're going to need to root the OnePlus 3, and we need to install Exposed Framework. If you're unsure of how to do any of that, be sure to check the link in the description below. There will be a link there for the full tutorial for this mod, and in that full tutorial you'll find links to all of the guides that show you how to do all of that. So once we have installed this specific exposed module, we need to activate it and then we need to reboot. You need to activate and reboot after installing any exposed module for the changes to take effect. And once it boots back up, we can go through the application and customize the lock screen shortcuts. Now what I noticed is if you change any of the lock screen shortcuts, the actual icon will not change. For example, I changed the right shortcut from the camera to Chrome and when I went to the lock screen it still showed the camera icon even though swiping it open like that launched Chrome. So to give you an example we're gonna launch the shortcut lock screen mod. You see by default these are both toggled. We can toggle them off and that will disable the shortcuts at the bottom. 
See the shortcuts are no longer there. You can't swipe over or anything. So like I just said, say we want to change the right shortcut. You just need to grant a permission. It will give us a list of all of our installed applications. For this test, we're just going to do Chrome. And once we set it, all we have to do is lock the device. And we can see it has changed. Swiping over. We'll launch the application that you set. And if you ever want to go back, all you have to do is change it back. Now that's how to remove or change those. If you want to add additional ones on top of the two stock you already have, we can do this as well, but we do it through a different exposed module. So if you just want to add some additional shortcuts up there, instead of downloading that mod, you can just download and install Gravity Box. From there, you, you launch Gravity Box, tap on the lock screen tweaks, and we have a shortcuts option here. So just like before, we're given a list of our apps. We'll just do two of them as an example. But see this time, instead of them being in the corner, it adds them to the two we already have. So all I have to do is tap and it launches our application. And as you saw, they also have a safe launch toggle so that there's no accidental presses. You'd actually have to press it twice in order to launch it.